For today's video, pag-uusapan natin yung first topic sa fourth quarter, which is Triangle Inequality Theorem. So, this video will be based on Learner's Packet or Region 4A Learner's Packet. So, for Lesson 1, we have Triangle Inequality Theorem. And, i-discuss muna natin yung kanyang introduction. So, for inequalities in triangle, we have two categories. We have inequalities in one triangle and inequalities in two triangle. Under ng inequalities in one triangle, i-discuss natin yung apat na theorem. We have triangle inequality theorem 1 or the SSAA, triangle inequality theorem 2 or the AASS, triangle inequality theorem number 3 or S sub 1, plus S sub 2 is greater than S sub 3, and exterior angle inequality theorem. Sa kabilang side naman, we have inequalities in two triangles. Under that, i-discuss natin yung hinge theorem and converse of hinge theorem. But for today's video, we will be focusing only on the first triangle inequality theorem or the SSAA and yung second which is triangle inequality theorem number 2 or the AASS. In triangle inequality theorem 1 or the SSAA or yung tinatawag natin na side angle theorem, it states that if one side of a triangle is longer than a second side, then the angle opposite the first side is larger the angle opposite the second side. Now, before we discuss theorem number 1 or triangle inequality theorem number 1, let us identify the different parts of a triangle using this example. So, in triangle FUN, meron tayong three angles named angle F. Ito yun, this angle. Then, we have angle U and we have also angle N. So, kung meron tayong 3 angles, meron din tayong 3 sides in this triangle. We have line segment UN. Next, we have line segment NF. And last is line segment FU for this side. Okay, now, after we identify the different angles and the different sides, let us identify the parts of a triangle which are opposite of each other or yung magkatapat. So, dito sa pagkakalista natin ng parts niya, pinagtapat-tapat na natin. Let's say, for example, angle F is opposite to line segment UN or yung side UN. So, kung titignan natin, ito yung side na tinutukoy natin. Then, ang opposite nyan or katapat nyan na angle ay yung angle F. The same with line segment NF. Kung ito yung side na tinutukoy natin, angle opposite to that side is angle U. So, last, yung side na hindi pa natin napapangalanan is line segment FU or itong side na to. So, kung ito yung side na tinutukoy natin, angle opposite to that side is angle N. Okay, so now let us have the given example in your lip. Now we have here the given measure of sides for triangle FUN. So sabi dito, using triangle FUN, if line segment FN is 7 cm or this side, lagyan natin siya ng measure, if this side measures 7 cm, and line segment UN, or this side, measures 5 cm. Which is larger, angle F or angle U? So, dito na papasok yung triangle inequality theorem number 1. So, gamit yung uh, given measurement ng side, ma-identify natin uh, which angle is larger. Kaya siya tinawag na SS. AA. So, this is the relationship between the sides and the angle of 
a triangle. So, ulitin lang natin. Sabi sa triangle inequality theorem number 1, if one side of a triangle is longer than the second side, then the angle opposite the first side is larger than the angle opposite the second side. So, ang pinangalan na natin is, or binigyan natin ng measure is yung line segment FN. But the question is, what is the larger angle or which is larger, angle F or angle U? So, as you can see, ang opposite ng measure na may pinakamalaki or 7 cm ay this angle or angle U. Then, opposite sa mas mababang sukat ng side is angle F. Ibig sabihin, pag kinompare natin, ano dito sa dalawang angle na to ang mas malaki, Sabi sa triangle inequality theorem 1, mas malaki daw ang angle na katapat ng mas mahabang side. Ibig sabihin, angle U is larger than angle F. So, yan lang yung sinasabi sa SA, SSAA or triangle inequality theorem number 1. Then, ang tanong dito, why? So, pwede nating sabihin na angle U is larger than angle F since opposite to angle U is the side which measures 7 cm. On the other hand, angle F is smaller since ang katapat ng angle F ay 5 cm lang. Okay, another example for triangle inequality theorem 1. We have the given order the angle of triangle ABC from largest to smallest. Ayan, so, kung mapapansin nyo, kapag triangle inequality theorem 1, the given is always the measurement for sides. Pero, ang i-order natin is yung angle. So, we have this given activity. I-identify natin or i-order natin yung angle nya from largest to smallest. So, since largest yung uunahin natin, we have to look for the longest side. Kasi katapat nun yung largest angle. Sabihin, from 5, 8, and 10, we have 10 as the longest side. So, opposite to this side or line segment AC is angle B. Ibig sabihin, angle B is the largest angle. Next, we have 8. So, opposite to this measure or line segment BC is angle A. Next, yung pinakamaliit naman natin na angle is opposite to the shortest side. Ibig sabihin, this side is line segment AB and opposite to that is angle C. So, ito na ngayon yung order ng angle natin from largest to smallest. We have angle B. Angle A and Angle C. Okay, so let us have Triangle Inequality Theorem number 2. Triangle Inequality Theorem number 2 or the AASS or Angle Side Theorem states that if one angle of a triangle is larger than a second angle, then the side opposite the first angle is longer than the side opposite the second angle. So this time, we are talking about the sides of a triangle. Yun naman yung i-identify natin which is longer. And we will be using the measure given to its angle. So, let us have an example. And so, we have here triangle JOY. So, gaya nung ginawa natin kanina, we will be identifying first the different parts of this triangle and i-identify na rin natin yung magka, magka opposite okay so first let's say we have angle O so if we have angle O opposite to that is line segment JY ibig sabihin ang katapat ng line segment JY natin is angle O. Next.
we have if we have angle y opposite to that angle is line segment jo then the last angle is angle j and opposite to angle j is line segment oy now dito sa inyong lip meron tayong given measurement of angle uh, using triangle joy if the measure of angle j is 55 degrees so ibig sabihin this angle measures 55 degrees and measure of angle y is 105 degrees so this is 105 which is larger so the question is which is larger oy or jo or line segment oy or line segment jo uh, dahil sides ang pinag-uusapan natin which is longer kung mas malaki yung angle sa dalawang angle na binigay kung nasaan yung mas malaking angle katapat daw nun yung pinakamahabang side ibig sabihin this is larger than 55 so opposite to this angle or this side line segment jo is longer than the side opposite to 55 degrees so the answer on the question is line segment jo again sabi doon why because uh, since angle y which measures 105 is larger than angle j which measures 55 therefore mas mahaba din yung side na katapat ni angle y kaysa sa side na katapat ni angle j okay another example for triangle inequality theorem number two so this time we have to order the sides of the given triangle from shortest up to its longest side so again uh, kapag ang sides ang i-order natin therefore ang given na meron tayo ay measure ng kanilang angle so in this example we have given triangle uh, triangle x y and z so, as you can see, meron lang tayong two given measure of its angle. So, yung isa hindi ibinigay. But we have to know what is the measure of this angle since lahat ng uh, sides natin ay i-order natin. So, let us recall that in one triangle, lahat ng angle nito ay may sum na 180 degrees. So, kailangan ilagay muna natin yung measure na nawawala. So, if this is 59 and 37, if we add, that is equal to 6 96. Okay. So, we have 96. Sabihin, to get the missing angle, let us subtract 96 to 180. So, we have 4 this is 7, 17. And this is 8. Ibig sabihin, this angle measures 84 degrees. Okay, once we check, we have 59 plus 37 plus 84. Dapat equal siya sa 180. Ngayon, meron na tayong complete measure of its angle. Pwede na natin i-order yung sides from, ano yung simula, shortest. Ibig sabihin, Hanapin muna natin yung pinakamababang angle up to largest. So, we have 59, 37, and 84. Ibig sabihin, mauna yung 37. Since this is the smallest angle, opposite to that is the shortest side or line segment XY. Next, we have 59. Then, opposite to 59 is this side or line segment x z then the last or the longest side is opposite to 84 so we have line segment y z 
Okay, so that is the order of the sides of a triangle from shortest to longest.